Hey friends, here are weird health facts everyone should know. Number 9. Don't hit that snooze button. We all know the temptation, but according to Rena Mera, director of sleep disorders at Cleveland Clinic, all of that snoozing isn't helping our bodies get the restorative sleep that we need. Hitting snooze can be counterproductive and actually make you feel worse because you're going into a new sleep cycle and this can be a difficult point to wake up from. Mera recommends prioritizing seven to eight hours of sleep and as hard as it may be, get straight out of bed when that alarm goes off. Number eight. If your bodily organs were the X-Men, your liver would be Wolverine! <laughs> That's because the liver can grow back its full size even if 75% of it has been removed. What's awesome is that you can donate just a portion of your liver to someone who needs a transplant. The portion of liver the patient gets will grow back to full size in their bodies and yours will grow back too. Number seven. Evolutionary psychologist Trevor Case performed a study on mother's sensitivity to smelling baby doo-doo. I guess science has just run out of things to research. What he found was that mothers reported that the dookie from their own babies smelled less nasty to them than the boo-boo of random babies. Which makes sense. If mothers are less disgusted by their little germ factories, they'll be more likely to take better care of them. Number six. The one thing that all women of every age, race, or political persuasion can all agree on is that it is literally freezing in here. <laughs> it turns out that there are biological reasons for the disparity between men and women when it comes to a comfortable room temperature. Females have a higher percentage of body fat than males, and this helps to keep the vital organs in the core nice and toasty, but it leaves the extremities out in the cold. When exposed to the same freezing temperatures, the blood vessels in the fingers of women constrict more than those in the fingers of men. So be a gentleman, roll up those sleeves, and turn up that thermostat a couple of notches. Number five, your body actually smells worse when you're nervous. There are two different kinds of sweat glands in your body. First, you have the eccrine glands. These produce the watery sweat that covers you from head to toe when you exercise. The second are the apocrine glands, which are usually found in your armpit area. These are activated when you're under psychological stress. This apocrine sweat produces a strong, sometimes even sulfurous odor when you're anxious or scared. Dang, body, you really throw me under the bus when the going gets tough. Number four. Probably the most adorable form of teamwork of all time is that if a pregnant woman's heart tissue is damaged during the pregnancy, her fetus will send stem cells to repair it. Good work, little one. Number three. This one is a bit nasty, but if you need to pass gas, but you hold it in, eventually it's gonna come out your mouth. According to Professor Claire Collins, a nutrition expert at the University of Newcastle, by holding in that trapped wind, it can cause the gas to be reabsorbed into your bloodstream and eventually exhaled in your breath. So next time you're talking to someone and their breath smells like shit, don't judge. Maybe they're being polite and holding in something far worse. <laughs> Number two. Ever wonder why your feet smell? The highest concentration of sweat glands are found in the soles of your feet. With 250,000 sweat glands total, it's no wonder people start to gag when you take off your shoes. But that doesn't happen to you guys? <laughs> Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number one, scientific studies have found that you are more likely to pass germs through a handshake than a kiss. Unless you're living a rock star lifestyle, your hands touch way more things than your lips. It's super counterintuitive, but you're less likely to share germs when hugging a sick person than you are if you shake their hand. 